You know her as the blonde beauty who stole our hearts on season eight of The Bachelorette. Now this super mom and lifestyle guru can add jewelry designer to her resume, and she's going to talk about all that and more with us right now. Welcome, Emily Maynard. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so The Bachelor at uh, season nine yeah. is up and running right mm -hmm. now. Is it a little bit nostalgic to see the show on TV for you right now? Honestly, I have. It still hasn't hit me that I was The Bachelorette. I've been such a fan of the show for so long that mm -hmm. like. You know, I just was out in LA a couple days ago and met Desiree for the first time. Oh, yeah. And I was with Allie, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm here with Allie, like the Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> it hasn't hit me that right? I was the Bachelorette. And, and they're going, and I'm here with Emily. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Do you watch uh, as much as you, you know, thought that you would be watching? Um, Currently, or do you feel like you've kind of fallen off of it because you've um, moved past that stage? I, I still watch it. I'm still, still a it. huge fan of the show, mm -hmm. and I watch it with a different eye now. You mm, know, of course. I, um, and do you of, give them any advice? Do the women any advice at all? Has that come up? I think that I should be the last person to give anybody <laughs> any dating advice. If no, you've but, seen I mean, my track being record, being on the show, <laughs> being on the show, like the oh, show, yeah, yeah, that. yeah, for sure. And um, <laughs> I had so much fun with it, so I just hope she did too. And yeah, I don't think I want to dispel that. I don't think you have a, a negative track record in any way whatsoever. Relationships <laughs> sometimes you. work, sometimes don't. Yours but just I think you, you know? were so authentic yeah. and grounded yeah. you know? during your season, and I think that's why you were so popular and continue to be uh, so popular. How in that environment do you stay that way? Do you stay true to yourself? Um, I have a really strong faith, which is, you know, the only reason I've gotten this far in life, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and also my daughter, you know, if I'm feeling myself one day, she'll tell me, you know, my bottom's jiggly or whatever. <laughs> she keeps me very humble. Keeps it real. Okay, right? keep us real, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of talk, I remember, about your wardrobe on the show, too. So mm -hmm. did you get to pick out your wardrobe? What, how involved were you with it? And then do you also look at and critique the wardrobe for the, uh, the other girls. Absolutely. Um, well, there's a stylist on the show. His name's Carrie, and he is like one of my favorite people on the planet. Mm -hmm. And right before we started filming, we took like a week, and I would go to his apartment from like eight in the morning to eight at night, I feel like, and just try on racks and racks of clothes. Oh my God. And I'd say, no, I don't like this. I love this. And mm -hmm. um, most of them had sequins on them. So, <laughs> did like you know sequins? going in that you had a really great sense of style? I mean, styles become a big thing for you. And when you were yeah. on the show, there was a lot of buzz about how great your style was. Thank you. Did you know going into it that you really had a flair for this? Um, I mean, I've just always loved clothes, whether it's, you know, translates to others or not, I don't know. But I've just always loved clothes. I'm a girly mm -hmm. girl all day long. So, what did your daughter think of seeing mommy on TV? Or did she watch the show at all? Did, she, did then later on, obviously, did you let her see any of the uh, episodes at all? Oh no, nothing. No, really? No, um, no. I think I'll save that for when she's like 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she has no idea. Well, well, like, does she know? Obviously, with the media coverage, and she's got to see you on magazines. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. She knows I was on TV. Um, yeah. You know and. Um, just people coming up to us in Charlotte and all that, but she doesn't know in what capacity. But hasn't seen the show. <laughs> uh, is she a girly girl like you? She is, but she's much cooler than I am. Like she's into um, uh, like the guitar and oh, yeah. drums, and um, she's really cool. I know you said that she went on a cruise not too long ago, and, mm -hmm. and you like broke down right before she left. Oh yeah, for a week, right? Oh and yeah, it's tough letting them go. Right? It is. It is. You think like, oh, I'm gonna have so much fun, I'm going to get to do all the stuff I don't normally get to do, and I don't. I come home to like an empty house and I just want to cry. And yeah. she was supervised. So I made it sound like she went on a cruise all yeah, by herself. Yeah, she, was so cruise. she went with grandma, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she yeah. went on a cruise. We're going to take okay. a quick break. When we come back, we got to talk about your jewelry line. Great, we got to talk right. about your blog, oh, your website. Mm -hmm. Lots to talk about for anybody who loves fashion right after this. Mm -hmm.